Hello, Ron Pinkerton here. Welcome back. This is the fifth in a series of eight videos about upgrading Oracle SOA Suite to version 12C. In earlier videos, we've taken care to verify our pre-upgrade requirements have been met. We've installed the version 12C software in a new Oracle home directory, as you saw in the Installing 12C software video. And as you saw in the Creating Database Schemas for 12C video, we've created the new schemas required for version 12.1.3. Now, let's talk about upgrading schemas and instance data using the Upgrade Assistant. The Oracle Fusion Middleware Upgrade Assistant, or UA, is one of several Fusion Middleware tools and processes that are used to complete an upgrade. During this task, the Upgrade Assistant will upgrade the database schemas that support our component configurations. UA will identify the list of possible component schemas to be upgraded. It'll determine the order of schema upgrade based on certain dependency information that's present. Then, it'll upgrade eligible schemas, adding tables, indices, and constraints as required. Finally, it'll move all the active 11G SOA instances into the newly created 12C tables. As you saw in the previous video, we've stopped our 11G servers and other processes and verified no components are accessing the database. That's still important as the Upgrade Assistant updates the existing schemas and active instances in the database. In the previous video, we described how you can use the SQL query on the screen to display the names, versions, and upgrade status of each schema record in the Schema Version Registry table of your database. The Upgrade Assistant is going to offer a list of components to upgrade and a list of schemas that will be impacted. These SQL results will be useful when selecting from among those the Upgrade Assistant displays. In our example, each of our 11G schemas is eligible for upgrade except IAU. To understand more about exceptions like this, refer to the documentation Upgrading with the Upgrade Assistant. Your results will vary, but in our example, we'll use UA to upgrade each of our eligible 11G schemas. With a multiple host topology like ours, it's important to run the Upgrade Assistant on the host where the admin server is located. The Upgrade Assistant is expecting to find and reference files that won't be found on a host running only a managed server. If you have a similar topology, run the Upgrade Assistant on the host where the admin server is located. The Upgrade Assistant is installed under the new Oracle Home Directory that was created when we installed Fusion Middleware Infrastructure 12C. We'll navigate to Oracle Home, Oracle Common, Upgrade, Bin, and there we'll find the Upgrade Assistant. With the command line in place, we press Enter to invoke the Upgrade Assistant. The welcome screen appears first. It reminds us that before we begin, we should back up all software that will be affected by the upgrade and verify that our databases, operating system, and hardware are certified for use with version 12.1.3. We've done each of those important tasks, so we'll continue. On the next screen, we can choose to upgrade either our schemas or our WebLogic component configurations. We need to upgrade our schemas first, so we'll leave schemas, the default option, selected. Because we chose schemas in the previous screen, a list of installed Oracle Fusion middleware components that have schemas that can be upgraded is displayed. From here, we choose which components on this list to upgrade. Based on our topology, we select Oracle Platform Security Services and Oracle SOA. We click Next to proceed, and we're brought to the Domain Directory screen. Here, we provide the path to the 11G domain to be upgraded. We'll browse to that location. Select U01 App, FMW, that's the 11G domain, user projects, domains, SOA domain. Double check we've made the right selection and click Next to proceed. The prerequisites screen requires us to manually acknowledge that all prerequisites have been met before we continue with the upgrade. We've backed up our 11G installation and instance data. We've checked the Interoperability and Compatibility Guide and verified our database version is certified for 12C. We've verified our system meets all requirements for this upgrade to 12C. And we've converted our file-based OPSS to a database-based policy store. With all these items checked, we proceed. 
At this point, a sequence of schema information screens is displayed. One screen will be displayed for each schema to be updated, based on the components we selected to upgrade earlier in the wizard. For each schema, we need to enter information required to connect to the database that hosts that schema. The information includes the database connect string, and the DBA username, and password. Verify our typing, and we click Connect. The schema username is displayed. We supply the schema password. The information we provided on the previous screen has been picked up here, so we don't need to re-enter it. If we're satisfied and don't need to make changes, we can just click Next. And again. Now we're editing the UCS UMS screen, and there's something different here. Because the component ID or schema name is changed for UCS UMS schema in version 12.1.2, the Upgrade Assistant doesn't automatically recognize the possible schemas and display them in a drop-down list. We need to manually enter the name in a text field. If we were upgrading from 12.1.2, the name would be prefix underscore UMS. But since we're upgrading from 11G, the name will be prefix underscore Aura SDPM. Next to continue, the SOA Infra schema is displayed. Again, we're able to click Next. We're brought to the Examine screen. The Examine screen displays the status of the Upgrade Assistant as it examines each component, verifying that the component is ready for upgrade. Each of the choices we've made is listed. Each green check mark indicates the examination of the schema was successful. The Upgrade Summary screen provides us a chance to review the options we've selected before we start the upgrade process. We're happy with those, so we click Upgrade. The Upgrade Progress screen shows the status of the schema upgrade process, but there's one important thing happening that's not suggested by the checklist. All active instance data is being upgraded to 12C. The wizard isn't going to advance until the task is complete. Depending how many instances there are to be upgraded, this step could take some time. Now that it's complete, we'll click Next. After a successful upgrade of the schemas and instance data, this window displays the list of successfully upgraded components, their starting versions, and their current versions. Before we leave this window, let's take a closer look at Item 2 in the Next Steps section. Note that an automated upgrade of closed instances has been started and will continue until the upgrade is complete or until the SOA server is started. If yours is a typical implementation, you'll probably be motivated to restart the service before this automated upgrade is complete. Be sure to take the on-screen advice and refer to the section Administering and Monitoring the Upgrade of SOA Instance Data in the document Upgrading SOA Suite and Business Process Management to learn how to schedule and otherwise manage the upgrade of your closed instance data. We'll talk more about that topic in the video on post-upgrade tasks. For now, let's click Close. And here we are, back at the command prompt. If the Upgrade Assistant exits with an Upgrade Successful message, you're done with this segment of the upgrade. If it exits with an Upgrade Failure, or if you'd like additional confirmation of a successful outcome, you can rerun the SQL script we saw earlier to list the current schemas and their versions. The example on screen lists each of the schemas in our demo system. Each of our 11G schemas has been upgraded, except for the IAU schema, which was expected to remain at 11.1.1.7.0. Our results confirm the successful completion of the UA and of this step in the upgrade process. We've created new database schemas and upgraded our existing schemas. The next step in the upgrade sequence is to update the WebLogic domain. In our next video, Reconfiguring the 11G Domain, we'll run the Reconfiguration Wizard and demonstrate that task. Until then, I'm Ron Pinkerton. Thanks for your time and attention.